Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Uh, what do we got here? It's a 40s tabletop craps table. I'm more of a blackjack guy myself. Never learned how to play craps. You should change that. <laughs> this is how you'll do it. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to sell my 1940s portable glass top craps table. I bought this craps table off a collector a couple years ago. I'm asking 800. I don't think it'll take much less. I know they love to haggle, but I don't. This is pretty cool. You know, this is a portable crafts table, and it looks like something that they would use back then. In the 40s, it was obviously made this small for a reason, so you could hide it. It's basically just a human urge to want to gamble. But people have been trying to stop people from gambling, and people have always found a way to sneak around it and get past it via stuff like this. If something like this is really easy to pick up and slide underneath the counter or yeah. throw in a briefcase and run out the room real quick. Or, right. I mean, it could have very well been used at somebody's house. So how does this one work exactly? So, you know, they place their bet. You'd be the dealer, then you would serve it. You know, push that rod on the other side, all the way. Then I'd roll the dice. Okay, simple enough. It looks like it's in fairly good condition. I mean, it's obviously been a little worn. You can see that, you know, it's had a few drinks spilled on it in its life. <laughs> right, right. And you can see that somebody really decided to pop the glass off this and change the odds right there from, uh, looks like, 12 to 1 to 7 to 1. And then maybe they weren't making enough money, so they decided to change the, the odds. So it, it kind of tells me that it was used at one point. It, it's definitely been used. Gambling antiques, especially in this town, are huge collectibles. They're not hard to get rid of. Let's just put it that way. There's right. a huge collector's market for stuff like this. What are you looking to do with it? I'm looking to sell it. And uh, what are you looking to get out of it? I'm looking to get 800. Five sounds better. It does sound better, but there's no way I'm going to take five. You're going to have to work with me a little bit, man. Um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm about seven. You made 100 bucks off me. How about six? How about we bet? Unfortunately, man. You can't do that? I don't bet. 600 bucks is what I can do. 650, man. You know what, man? I'll do 650. We're You're a cool it. guy. All right. Uh, come with me. We got to use the paper. All right. Sounds good. So I placed my bet on 800. He gave me 650. He was very fair with me. I know they'll make a profit, but that's why they're here. I don't have an issue with that. All right, I'm gonna let it ride on the field. Let's let it ride. I don't know, I guess I'm feeling lucky on 11. So another 50 on 11. 100 on the field. Pretty stunning. 10, all right, 10 to win on the field. Pay me up, baby. 200. You sure? Just give me 200 bucks. Let it ride. I guess, I'll, I guess I'll go to the field. I'm just assuming it's in the employee handbook that there's no gambling at work. I bought this portable craps table from the 40s that they would have at like speakeasies and whatnot. Okay, no, this is not a craps table. That is not even close to craps. Yeah, I, I, like I said. Okay, so in craps, when you throw the dice, you know, if it comes out a 2, 3, or a 12, you automatically lose. A 7 or 11, you automatically win. If it's any other number, that's when you got the point. Okay, now you got to start keep on throwing the bones until you reach your point, or you throw a 7, 11, and you crap out. Did you mean for those words to come out of your mouth, or did they just fall out randomly? It's pretty simple, right? No, not at all. I've never played. When you live in Las Vegas, you don't know how to play craps. Never learned once. I have failed as a parent. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well, I'll teach you how to play craps, OK? Guys night out? Guys night out. Something like this week, we'll go to the D, and I will explain how to play craps. And as long as you don't go crazy with your betting, the trick is to walk out of the casino with at least cab fare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in. Why is Chum not here? Chum's always late. Did you expect anything else? Yes, I expected Chum to be here, on time. All right, this is ridiculous. What's up, boys? I'm not even gonna ask where you got the card. You guys ready for boys night out? Corey, you're over here looking like you're about to go to the dive bar. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, guys. A grown man wears a jacket when he goes out at night. It's a suit wearing, Esperada shoes having, gambling kind of night. All right, let me go school you guys on how to play craps. Come on. I'm really disappointed in your outfit, Corey. Me too, sort of. 
can't win with you guys. All right, here we go, boys. Pull out some money, get some chips. How do I play? I'll show you. Hand me some dice. All right. Three. All right, here we go. Nine, center field, nine. Okay, now the point's nine. Okay, now we keep on rolling until I hit a nine. If I hit a nine, we win. If I hit a seven, we lose. In the meantime, you can play like on the field or something like that. All right. Put that on five. All right. I do it. Here we go. Five, even though. Yeah! That's how you do it, boys.